What the hell you talking about? Bad black business. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's a great topic. Uh, Go ahead. There are some. I've been to uh, quite, quite a few. Um, Recently, though, uh, you visited an establishment that wasn't up to your standard. Yeah. It frustrated me because I had a good time. I Like, off the rip, I had a good time. They always like that in the hood spots, yeah. bro. Yeah. You always have a good time, which, <laughs> which makes me, like, it, it makes me reflect, like, yo, why did I have such a good time? Music was good. Drinks were good. Yeah. Company was good. That's all we're looking for at a bar. Gotcha. But it frustrated me from a, you know, the day later from a business aspect because drinks were really cheap. Yeah. Like cheap to the point where they were definitely losing money. Okay. Uh, I, and I, I felt like <laughs> I'm doing you a disservice. <laughs> you should be able to make hella money at a bar like 200% on a drink, 150%. That's how liquor, that's that's how liquor how it works. works. Yeah. And it's just like, you got to, I mean, as long as you... I'm not saying describe this place for me. Describe this place for me. Um, small. Okay. Small. Uh, one bar. One bar. One bartender. Yeah. That that can service about I guess twenty people. So the bar is bar is about twenty people wide. What? The day you went full full bar, twenty people there. No, when I started there, mm-hmm. which was actually I got there kind of early. I got there like ten thirty. Mm. Kind of early. That's early for blacks. Early for blacks. Blacks, blacks yes. usually don't show up. So. True. But so when I got there, it was about <laughs> eight eight of us. Yeah. Eight of us scattered around. One bartender. She was doing her thing. Yeah. Um, it's not a clean place. Let's <laughs> just, just start there. Yeah. So one. Small. I don't understand. Yeah. It, it, for these small places, I don't understand why it's so hard to be clean. Like, yeah. we went, I went to... <laughs> <laughs> this like um food market yeah. you know like when they like um before i don't know if you knew but wawa before it was like just a convenience store there wasn't no gas station there mm-hmm. all right so one of these the indian dude they take over those spots right they do so they have the mini marts yeah i go in there and there's like a line to the side of the, the window the, the side of the register and i'm like oh dang this the line for the register is mad long so i'm standing behind you behind there and the, the one black lady turns around she's like Oh, oh, baby, you uh, you in line for the food? I was like, food. I was like, I'm in line for the register, and I just got some milk. So she's like, oh, the register line is right there. Nobody's at the register. So I'm like, what the hell line is this? Why is it a whole soul food cooking spot <laughs> in the mini mart, dog? I'm telling you, this girl got like an Insta Pot. She got she got like an air fryer. Insane, filthy. The floors look crazy. I would never eat in this establishment. But I'm telling you, the line was you so take, long. You take that food to go. I'm not doing that. <laughs> you don't me, bro. I'm cooking at home. That I look crazy. Did but it, I don't understand. Did you see the food? Huh? Did you see the food? They didn't even stay, didn't even stay to see somebody's plate. I saw the people in line. <laughs> Diabetes, gout, <laughs> heart failure. Oh, so, the food, so the food was good. What you saying? I'm showing the <laughs> diagnosis of what happens with the food. You saying the food. Okay, you say the food is good. All right, I got you. I know somebody's going <laughs> to lose a foot. I'm That's looking crazy. at and it, and it's just one grandma in like a, a catered, you know, the, the black chef outfit. She's she cooking it up. She got her, her name and cursive. The, the, you should have called me because I would have pulled You're up. You're crazy. You know that, right? That's disgusting. I, I don't, I mean. You ever see Chinese food people eat Chinese food? They don't. They don't. They go tell you something. Their kitchen is so filthy. They don't. Yeah, they know. They're like, nah, we ain't Remember that one spot we went to? Where? <laughs> and, and, and we was in Philly, that joint. We had to leave out of there because of how it smelled. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. So for the listeners, <laughs> drunk night, me and Jamie, like, usually um, Ron introduces to David Wan Young. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we wanted to go there, but I think what, it was just like a crazy line. It was like a 20-minute wait. I think it was I think it was far. Like we I don't even no, think we, we were could... it was in the same Did we go there first? Yes. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, so it was right. like a wait to get into and then yeah. we was like, why don't we just go to one of these empty ones? And yeah. Big mistake. <laughs> we go into the, the empty joint. Ooh. The stench was so crazy. <laughs> like we talking. But I'm like, you smell it? <laughs> and the you... funniest thing is because I got home and I told <laughs> I told my wife. I was just like because as men, it's like, we don't want to be the first ones to say, like, let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, nah. So I was like, Khadib, like, we still <laughs> we still ordering this? Yeah, I saw He was it. like, yeah. I said, yeah? Yeah. He, oh, he, he was like, you said something. He was like, you was looking at something. But then he was like, uh, I don't, you know, I, I don't want, know. I just, 
I knew this year, this year I had a stomach virus, and I was like, I can't go through this again. That smell was crazy. Yo, it was the like they should get they should get shut down. Yeah, like, that's how bad that if was. If there was a rating for the you know the cards where you get the A, B, D minus. So we got up out of there, and they yeah. went to another spot, and yeah. it smelled very and the, good. The food, the food was, was great. The food was great. Less of a weight. Yeah, same, it was all in the same neighborhood. It was. Crazy. We just picked the wrong spot. But but I'm sorry. Back to your point yeah. is uh. Why can't you keep a freaking small space like that clean? Number one. You can't, but that's not her job is a you talking about this, you talking about I'm, this just, I'm talking about businesses in general. Why the hood spots have okay. to be filthy? I, I think this. There's not a proper business model. There is I can cook. Where can I cook? Oh yeah. I'm gonna cook here. Hundred percent. There we go. With you. 100 percent a the, business the, model, the would business be, behind running a restaurant, it's not, is there. not there. It's not there. The it's, business it's, behind running a bar, it's not, is not there. there. Yeah, and right. it's just like, yo, like, what am I looking to make? How much is you know, the logistics in it? Like, how, I'm my, glad you said that. So, my sister, she's doing like a catering type mm -hmm. of thing, um, and like I'm, I'm trying to take it to the next level. And I've seen the video. I haven't she's tasted fired. it yet. I can, I yeah, can. Uh, saute by Shan if you guys uh, want to check it out, but. Um, I'm trying to get her to see, like, don't just think of yourself as just selling platters. I don't want yeah. you to be that that kind of a girl. You're a chef, right? Yeah. And, you know, think of yourself as people now, like, you're looking to grow into a space where you, you can get Uber Eats and delivery. Mm -hmm. For some reason, people are doing that. I would never... No, you, you do eat what you mean? Uber Eats. Oh, oh yeah. And DoorDash. You're crazy. DoorDash, girl. Are you that lazy? Uh, I mean, ridiculous. We'll get back. I to I would that say point. efficient, not lazy, but efficient. Sure. Let's, yeah, let's until see. you get that bill, <laughs> it's like twenty dollars for a bagel. But anyway, <laughs> I I showed her this other video from um this other page. Uh, I think it's called Chef Chef Perchen um Perchenur or Chef Entrepreneur. Nice. And he basically broke down like it's a tough name. Yo, this so like he he gets a quarter chicken, right? Mm -hmm. Let's say a quarter chicken is. What ninety nine cents a pound, seventy four cents a pound. He breaks down the math of the yeah, but that's where you that's how you have to be. This is what you watch. I do watch the <laughs> stuff. So he cuts the chicken to the to now you got the thigh and the, the drumstick. Mm -hmm. Now he says this is thirty four cents. I'm trying to turn thirty four cents into eighteen dollars. Now when you think he of business that? He like does that? that, bro, fire! It was a fire post. And when you start thinking like it, that, it is, it is, it's crazy. So, so now he's like, how do I, how do you, as a chef, how does he equate his time though? This is what I'm about to, well, that's how you get to the $18. Okay. Okay. You okay. can't, if you, if you're making a dish and you spend time on it, you don't want to make 74 cents. You don't want to make a dollar. You don't make $3. You're trying to make the highest time markup. The and then this is just think, think we're only talking about a piece of chicken. Yeah. A chicken has two thighs, two drumsticks, breast, wing. So you're trying to, capitalize on all of this chicken that you just made and you're not making just one chicken right so we're getting too deep but he cut that and he said the the price increases not by taste it's how you plate the the food yeah. right and then obviously your brand so yeah. he focuses on the first of all dressing up the chicken make sure you know true. how to cook that is so true. and then your rice is a certain way your mashed potatoes is a certain way yeah. your garnish is a certain way this is how you increase your plate. So this is what I was telling I'm a fan my already. sister. Yeah. But then when you go into these these restaurants that you're talking about, mm -hmm. it's almost like they just pushing out crap. And then they never can when when you start comparing like what restaurants are we talk about? We're not talking about franchises. We're talking about just like owner up like owner operated. Also, it, what what I'm comparing, the, like I'm just saying black businesses okay. who do these cook okay, okay, cook okay, things, yeah, I right? You, I, I don't think they're really analyzing their food cost, and then trying to increase the margin on per plate. So, and that's true because I think their first thought of probably opening a food business is somebody told them, hey, you can, you cook, can cook well. Yeah. That's good. But really... That's uh, barely the first step. That's barely the first step. The first step, if if you want to have a food business, is you can cook efficiently. Yeah. Because we don't... Really, like what he said is don't they don't care about taste. No. Because actually in in the real scheme of things is nobody cares. I care I mean, it's gonna make it's gonna get you fan. When's the last time you said, damn, this tastes banging? It's been a while. Like banging. It's been a while. First of all, you're wildin' because Thanksgiving came up. 
You, if your wife made anything, you should be saying that was the best. She didn't. She didn't. Oh, so you didn't eat it? Okay. See? So the food was trash. See, I don't lie. Yeah, that's for sure. But uh, no, it's just, it's just, it's they don't think on that business model of, I'm just gonna put out good. And what I've seen in my like in my lifetime of making good food, it's expensive. Yeah. Making really like good food, it's expensive. But to make a good business, it has to be efficient. And I don't. That's why I think a lot of them fail is because they're trying to make the best plate to taste the best to, to kill the most people. But no, Thank you. But Thank you. To kill the most people. Yo, but here's, here's a hot take. Here's a hot take for me. And everybody's going to kill me, but I don't care. What white people are doing with seasoning is pretty good. It's pretty good. I like it. Because, yo, we using too much dust. We're using too much dust seasoning. We're killing ourselves, we're killing bro. Ourselves. We're killing yo, ourselves. when you make a steak, salt, pepper. All you need, and time, and a little butter. I feel like black four ingredients. I feel like black people. Onion powder, garlic powder, uh, uh, Auntie May's nah, <laughs> season I feel like, mix. I feel like black people put two things on a in, in on something. They be like, two it, is not enough. No, I need some more. The ancestors <laughs> come over your shoulder. Come on, baby, take the adobo. Take the adobo. The adobo already got salt. I seen people you take put salt in. seasoning salt. I see people take seasoning salt and, and salt. adobo and put it together. And then be like, here's a little bit more salt. White salt. <laughs> they don't realize crazy. It's, it's salt in that, in that salt. <laughs> I stopped buying seasoning salt, but dog. And now people going to be I like. St- I stopped buying seasoning salt, too. People going to look at me and be like, yo, damn, can you even use, your stuff is kind of bland. Like, I, seasoning There's salt, salt was on like, the table. That's true. <laughs> you, can do what you, you can do what you need to do. I'm not to trying do. to kill anybody, dog. But they go, they going to come at you, though, because you're black. That's fine. Man. If you if you can withstand that, then you good. That's fine. But going back to like the black businesses, like I said, what is efficient, or like you said, what is efficient? I think efficiency is how much can I make off plates, and you sure. got to think like that. But they don't. No. Nah. And then is this in it? The the food can make you want to come back, but also the environment makes you want to come back. So yeah. if, if it's a dirty place, I'm if the food is fire, I'm probably gonna think four times if I want to really so, go back to that. So this Please. is this is important because the place I was talking about earlier is a bar. So a bar, food is the last pro, yeah. last rung of hey, I'm going to this place. There especially is, at ten thirty. <laughs> especially at ten thirty, right? There's drinks, there is environment, then there's food. Granted, food will will get you you be a business. You can you, you can drive traffic. I'm not gonna lie, but it's the last on the rung. And, and what would you rank? Uh, Things at the bar to make it successful, like if food is last. Where, where are you That's what I'm saying. I think how you rank it things. I think environment. Okay. Environment. Cool decor, like when you talk about that. Yeah. Like, okay. Environment, music, music. That that they go hand in hand, but I'm a, I'm gonna make them separate. Environment, music, drinks, cost, cost, and can you make solid drinks? Like if I ask you to make me something, can you make it? Like you need solid bartender sometimes. Could I? Could I? I want to interject with the sure. drinks thing. I want to say speed of drink as well. True. I don't, don't want to be waiting. waiting there for like 20 minutes yeah. on a drink. I think that's one of the most important things it's, too. It's like I've seen places where like you have one bartender. Yes, that's good for that bartender because they're going to get all those tips. We we understand how tips work and we understand you're only paying one bartender tonight. But at the end of the day, if you had three bartenders, they get less, you know, less tips. They might not be as happy or whatever. But your customers are going to be happy. Yeah. Eventually, you want to get to a place where you can. You're going to need to expand. Yeah. I I think they don't they don't think about it to the point where they want to expand. They just try to survive. As surviving is one bartender until we we're we're dead. Like instead of having two bartenders, we're all good. Yeah. So, but environment, music, drinks, um, and then last is food. Okay. At ten thirty. Let's say it's you know ten thirty eleven o'clock. Let's say most food stops at twelve, so ten thirty eleven o'clock. And the, I mean you can I mean it's a bar, so you can, you you'll be open all day. You know you know you'll be open from like what four p.m. Yeah, something like that. Um, you still need you need solid food. People can come in. You need solid. You know this this making me think about. So I posted. We went. Me and Ashley we were uh, running errands, and mm-hmm. uh, we went to this place in Cherry Hill. Hen. Hen restaurant. I think I mentioned it on the podcast before, but it's a um, Asian restaurant, right? Mm. The dude's food is delicious, mm-hmm. right? But when you talk about those ranking things, when you go into his place, 
the decor is awesome. You already feel like you're in like a different country kind of like he got the wood panel like dojo type of style going and it's a small space it's yeah. probably like uh if you were to take this room and you kind of go further yeah. back that's as big as the place is and it's like it's not really like uh high class like it, it looks like dining style kind yeah. of and he has like um benches that have like the plush seats so think of like the walls wrapped with the bench where you sit down table chairs yeah. and in the middle you got chairs right then he got like a sushi bar in the back where they like kind of roll yeah, sushi? spring rolls. Um, I don't know. They cook. Fresh? I never had any sushi. Okay, okay. But they're rolling sp- spring rolls. They got the grill back there and stuff like that, right? Yeah. You go in there, bro. It looks like you cleaned the place. Like, I don't know who they got coming there. Clean. Clean. Mm. Bathroom, pristine. And I'm all about the bathroom. Mm. Like, if you can't keep your bathroom clean in the business, I ain't want to go I, in there. If, if I don't get hot water in the bathroom, you're done. And then he got the luxury like panel flooring, yep. so it just looks nice, right? Yep. So, and then you got you got like some just cool art pieces, like he got uh, like these like mini skateboards hanging up, but they got like a uh, like a, a dragon or a picture of Bruce Lee on there yep. and all that other type of stuff. And then the dishes are simple: spring summer rolls, white rice, fried rice, garlic noodles. Um, and then he goes into some nice like. High end kind of things like filet mignon uh, bits. And you have to, you have that. Wok, wok yeah. fire, yeah. yeah. And then um, like a garlic soy pork chop. Fire. I have to go to the dude, place yeah. Now. We can, I, now, we can now, go. Now I, now I wanna go. The dude it, is fire. But when you compare it to like sometimes when these businesses rush to open, yeah. it's like that ambiance isn't exactly. there. At first, you're not even invited. If the food is mediocre, yeah. I'm like, at least I wanna be here again. It's kind of dope. So to, to your but point, the food is fire. To your point, I ain't wanna cut you off, but it's just. It's if what are you gonna recommend? Like yes. the place I talked about first. Yes, I had a good time there. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go back because I had a good time at this dive bar. Mm-hmm. That food was trash. Mm-hmm. Place was trash. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go back. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna tell nobody else to go. Mm-hmm. But the place you just mentioned, you're gonna go back and twice, gonna it. and you're gonna recommend it to more to at least five other people. This is business. Interesting question then. So we're not gonna name the. The places I don't want to be mean and like put that place out there. Makes sense. But you compare that to Jay's elbows room, and we so know we're Jay's gonna, elbows we're room. We're gonna is say white. that place <laughs> yes, because <laughs> th- this place is black. This place is white. True. So if we Jay's elbow room is trash, we all could agree with that. We that's a dive bar category. Funny story is that I went there after I left this place. Whoa, yeah. So do a comparison, do a breakdown, and and that's it's. <laughs> it's funny that you mentioned it. It's Go just ahead. like I think Jay Elbow Room, they do things a little bit better. Not it just as clean. Let's let's say just as clean. They're I went to both, both filthy. Both filthy. Cool. Prices are better at the first place, but at Jay's Elbow Room, it's okay. From Fair. a business aspect, Jay's Elbow Room is Maybe definitely doing better. Food shoot, better food menu. They they sell and the kitchen was I, I didn't see the kitchen but yeah, they we don't want to see the kitchen I, I'm sure I don't <laughs> we don't want to see the but at that time which was two o'clock I'm looking for some food and they you ate at both places no I didn't eat at the first place say. first place so let, oh, yeah. let, <laughs> let me get you let me get you this is a black owned black owned business so apparently the chef just said I'm taking a day off. <laughs> and they have no no backup. There's one I guess there's one guy that cooks all the food in this place. Goodness. This is a very small business. Yeah. And <laughs> the, one, the one guy said, I'm not I'm not in today. So when I showed up, I was like, yo, let's, let, let me get some of this. It was like, nope, he's off today. Cool. Say less. Tag. Yep. You know the confidence that black businesses have just to tell you, yeah, this is this That's is not up. confidence. We know it. That's, it's crazy. No, no, but <laughs> <That's> <laughs> like, yeah, we know. <laughs> That's crazy. Nah. That's like crazy. Jamaican restaurants, so we'd be like, "Yo, you got uh, stew chicken? We don't have that." No. Like, what do you mean? The co- you right? The confidence. What do you they, mean? They, they have it. It's just you guys got rice and peas. You know no, you are done. What? Like they say it like they, it's like not losing business, or you could be a <laughs> you could be ahead of it and put up signs that tell you what's no, out. No, no, no. You gotta ask. You just got a mean you, attitude, you lady. To, for, you have to ask, and then we have to say no. We have to. I drove you. all the way here for <laughs> stew chicken. And then you in my face. Nah. nah well, no. Ain't that no remorse. No, like, uh, no. my apologies, blah, blah. No, not my bad. Nope. 
Which is we ain't we got it. Like that. Did, but you, go ahead, did you think we have it? <laughs> did you think we have it? <laughs> you know it's four o'clock? <laughs> you you for we sold out. Four o'clock. I think bro. They, they, like, tried, they, they say it like we supposed to know. Like, like a reverse psychology. Like, yo, we so busy. Like we we so, come on. And I look at it as you're so lazy and unprepared that you don't have your orders together. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Some and some places you would go to and you realize, like, yo, this is late at night. They sold out of everything. Like they really they are that busy, they sold out of everything. We know that. But these businesses we talk about, that's not the case. Like you yeah. say, they're just lazy. They they forgot to cook whatever they're supposed to cook. And, yeah. and and to me, like at the end, like I don't want to bash like black businesses, but like if you can't sustain that menu, which is a thing, yeah, you drop that item, yeah, or you make more of something, or yeah. you like you kind of compensate. I'm not for a, it. like I definitely I'm not a hundred. I'm not bashing at all. I want to make all black businesses better. And I think it's important, especially when you start out small menu. Like, there's Very no shame small. to a small menu, Very especially small. if it's good. It's actually relieving. It's yeah, yeah. Three. It's, three it's more entrees. efficient. You 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 probably practice that item so much, like it's gonna be it's gonna Robotic. taste better. Robotic. Yeah. And people are, like if come on, let's talk about Chick Fil A. Come on now. <laughs> I, I just want to go here, Chick Fil A. Most people that go there, I still think to this day. They order the chicken sandwich, the regular chicken sandwich. Their their basic item, I think that's what they order. Just stay, just stay simple. Keep it simple, stupid. That's it. That's it. I hate when I go to see multiple menu items, and I'm just like, I'm not impressed by how many items you have on a menu, like Cheesecake Factory. Exactly. I don't want to read a exactly. Harry Potter novel to figure no. out what the hell I'm gonna eat. I'm not. Imp- I'm impressed by the either that diversity. Of what you have on the menu, or the complexity, saying like, if you're a place that you can make multiple different genres of things, cool. That's that that might I can dabble on different things, or like what you have is I've never seen on another menu in my life. Cool, you got me. Mm-hmm. But if you sell on a chicken sandwich, which everybody sells, you're not you're not special. Mm-hmm. So so run back to your list now. So yeah. um, and we're still doing a comparison to Jay's Jay's elbow room, right? Whew, it so. Was bad. So we said you're pissed off. The food wasn't. Um, you couldn't even get food at the, first, the first place. The guy took off. So Jay's had food. Yep. So big ups on Jay's. Music was better at the first place. There gotcha. was a jukebox. I could have control. A semblance and of they control. Had probably a lot of black songs. Yes. We uh, need that. Yeah, we Love need that. that. And the thing is, like, I like that a lot because as black people, we complain about the music a lot, and it's just a jukebox makes it simple, simple, and it's cheap. So um, that worked. Jay's elbow room music. I can't read. Can't even remember. Probably not remember. You yeah, know, you're not even there for that. Not crazy. Both had a pool table. Mm-hmm. One was not as crowded. The other one at Jay's it was crowded. Got you. Um, environment. So Jay's elbow room. I I like them because they say what they are. Yeah. It's. Elbow room, like we we tight in here. Like mm-hmm. I, I'm not gonna lie to you. This is the name on the place on the building. We tight in here. This is our brand. This is our brand. We good. It it was that. Like we was able to get a little table though. Somebody got out. We was able to get a little table, but um, in the other place, I actually had more. It was smaller, but I had more space. Yeah. So I would have to say, environment wise, Jay's elbow room. It was cleaner. It was just like. It was a bar made to be a bar to entertain people. The first place was just like, yo, we we just open, you know, we just a bar. We just open up, just trying to sell drinks, trying to, you know, <laughs> try to survive. Yeah. Like I didn't see a like, I didn't see like a sign for like but what? Like you know what I'm saying? Like I didn't see like an advertisement. I didn't see anything like any like wall decor. Like yo, you know, hey, we're gonna be here. Like nothing crazy. Right. This is a room. Some some I think it was like. Some glass, you know, some like mirrors on the wall. Nothing crazy. Jay got people coming back all the time, bro. All His the time. customers are loyal. And and that's the and that's the thing. It's like their time. The time they stay open. They stay open past two. Yeah. That's one I don't even reason. Know how they could do that. Like that, that I don't know what rule they're they're I don't think it's a rule. I think you can stay open how long you want to. But you you can't serve alcohol past a certain that's the I problem. Think, no, I think you can. You can serve I alcohol past what time? To two AM. There's yeah. like a I think am I tripping? You you tripping? Why does everybody play? Why does other places close it too? 
that's just the general. That's just like a general time that. So you think these guys are just rebels? They just open it to to. I think there's a they're not the only ones. There's other places that open past that. It's just there's a certain like it's a select market for it. Like most clubs in Philly, after two, you're not you're not making that much money. So it's like yeah, let's cut off. Let's you know stop business. Let's interesting. I thought it was yeah. just like a city ordinance. Or something. I don't think so. Like when I looked at um so Springfield Mass right, we had cutoffs like where. Cops would be like, "This is this. You're done. A like curfew like, is done. Yeah. Oh. And at one point, it got pushed to like twelve. Oh. So I don't know what happened. I think like, um, there's just too many fights downtown or something like that. And they said twelve o'clock. No, two a.m. Twelve I o'clock. I, I and really. Then some people had like a uh, privilege to be open at one a.m. Mm. So that's why I'm like, I think it's a rule. The, the crowd can tell me if I'm wrong, but I don't think it's a rule. I think yeah. it's just a uh, because there's. I mean, I went to a place in Philly that was open up. Past two other day, yeah. I think it's just a a preference of if you want to serve, if you want to have business at that time, yeah. You just in a select market, you know. So let's do. So if you were to do recommendations mm-hmm. for this business, yeah. Um, I think if I'll run through a couple, right? I think number one, if your chef is out, because I understand staffing issues is bad, right? If your chef is you out, have, have a backup. Chef. You can't have, have one a backup. Chef. Or kitchen's closed and let everybody know. Like, even when you get in, like before you get in, kitchen's First of closed. All, kitchen's closed, bro. There things could happen. Maybe I'm your mad. your water's your water ran out. I don't know, but I think you. Sh- I think as a as a business owner, you should let your customers know before True. they can get right. the expectation well, right. that I'm, this I'm, is done. Right. I'm being like you would nice. be a little bit more at, like ah oh, kitchen's closed. Cool. You don't want to go and go to like I think you said the you asked the uh, bartender right for the food. Mm-hmm. And then what she said, she said, the person I hear you had to go to the window. No, no, no. She said, yeah, you know, he's off today. Yeah, that's bad. It's bad but, business. You want to put something blanket out there, like when you walk in, kitchen's closed. True. And then you just be like, yeah, okay. You know, I'm going I'm to go to Wawa or something. Yeah. But at least at least they told you. Yeah. The next thing is like broken equipment. Uh, um, Like before we even started recording, you were talking about like the pool table and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. That they, stuff needs to be, come on. Maintain. Yeah. So- while I was there, I, I will say this. I play pool on occasion. I think I'm okay. Some pool sharks came in there. Like like people that really play pool. They had their sticks. They did not. They oh, played wow. with the broken sticks that was there. But it was just like, you have people come in here that play pool. So it's just like, why would you? That's the one thing you have in there for like entertainment. The, yeah, PC That needs to be pristine. Base. The, P, like, the yeah. table needs to be level, PLT needs to be clean. Base. Yeah. Like, I mean, the fact is corn operated is one thing because, like, most tables in that situation I've seen is not corn operated. It's, like, people come and play because they're here. Like, you, they yeah, they ain't got to go to the bar to, to get changed. Money. You need to make this money. I, like, I would, I, use, I, I, would rent the, I would rent the sticks or something like that. I mean, that's why. But, but uh, I make money. Uh, I mean, if... How you maintain this pool? How if you it's maintain a, the pool if table? If it's a billiard hall, yes. But if it's just one pool table in one bar... You are just that's just being entertaining. This is where we gotta disagree. How do you maintain the pool table? You, your drinks is gonna maintain the pool table. Yeah, it has. To, it, it's gonna come from your cut. It's gonna come from the cut. Yeah. I bet you these goons was not drinking anyway. <laughs> no, nah, they they were not. Nah, they were. Okay. okay. And that's but that I, you I see how you gotta put things in your one, equation. You're right. One pool table can be maintained. I think from just a percentage of the cut of everything else. Yeah. I I'm not I'm not. But you tripping. have to. That that's what I'm talking about when when I talk to you about the like the chicken thing yeah. like. You you said what about the chef's time? That's included in that price and that breakdown. When you start talking about your drinks, it's not only your staff, it's not only electricity, means maintenance of the pool table. You yeah. got to put all that in consideration when you're thinking about your business. Yeah, and I think this coin operated that's and, trash. But and, but but that's the thing. They had that coin operated. The jukeboxes, you know, yeah. you had to pay for the ju- like if you want perf- like so you getting all of that like and that's working for you. People are still playing pool. People still getting music, but it's just like. Jeez, like come They're on! They're gouging man. you every every chance you get. Yeah, I I, I was I was disappointed. I was disappointed because I had a good time. Yeah, real talk. I had a good time. Because and it's our people. Yeah, I and I, I our want people. our people to like. When I see opportunity, that's an opportunity for money. I'm just like, you could do so much better. You could. have I left that place paying. What I pay twenty two dollars after tip. Like after I tip the bartender. Amazing. You could you could have got me for an easy fifty. <laughs> I, 
How much money you leaving on the table? Yeah. You leaving twenty? I mean, that's twenty. What twenty eight with me? Yeah. How much you leaving with everybody? That's true. That's true. Now we start adding up every day, every day, every day. That's money mm. left. And we're not. I'm not even talking about food. Exactly. You could have so got me for seventy. Could have missed out. You could have got me. You, for, food. you know, I like. I mean, yeah. come on now. Yeah. And as a business, that's how you gotta think. You gotta think when every customer comes in here, how am I taking their money? How? Not and not in a disrespectful way, because nah, we all went to this black business. It's like business. I, I'm gonna be real with you. There's a lot of black businesses where they overcharge. Oh yeah, yeah. Because and you hate it. I hate it. So I one don't of the go. Things you have a gripe with is covers. Cup. I don't uh, mind paying covers. I dislike it. Like there was um, uh, well I don't really go there, no, but Blue Martini. True. Is on the same street as uh, what's the plow the bars. The plow, the plow which we, is your favorite place. I don't and say then, that. It's not my favorite. And place. then bootleggers. I mean, hey, if the plow sees this, but it's yeah. called bootleggers, right? Bootleggers. And to me, bootleggers is fire. Cuba Libre. Cuba Libre. No, no emission. No emission. Blue Martini emission. Emission. I don't know what's going on. I know what's going on. Go ahead. It's black. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I don't even know who owns the place. Yeah. But black people. Frequent that place. They yes. like that place. There's black music there. And they feel feel the need to charge. I feel like bootleggers got black music. At times they do. You're right, but they don't got a cover. And then, oh, you know what? That place, um, Tamara likes going to. It's on the it's in it's near bootleggers. Oh, around the, around the, the, the Spanish spot around the corner when it's in the basement. Man. I forgot. I forgot the name of the place. Tosh had her birthday there or something like that. Or no, May May. Yes. Yeah, you're right. That that is that's right there. Yeah. yeah. That's so like you right go, across you the go down um, into the basement and yeah. it's, a, it's like a whole club. No cover. They don't charge either. No. And I, I'm just like, how is Blue Martini still like? You a know thing? how. You know how. You know how. Black people like to go there. So they get to charge twenty dollars a head. That's crazy. And we're gonna pay it because we wanna we not gonna pay it. We ne- we haven't gone in. No. <laughs> no, we we, we I'm not talking about we, I'm talking about other we haven't gone. <laughs> yeah. Me and you not going. I'm not no. But yeah. us as a as a we like to be around other black people. I do. Not for twenty dollars. Yeah, I'm not paying for <laughs> Not part, I mean I'll party with the whites. Nah, yeah. Not Woo! For, <laughs> Not for, <laughs> not, not for twenty dollars in a, you know, who looks good competition. Like not, you know, if I'm going in there, it's a good time. We are gonna have, a, I'm gonna listen to my music, but nah, bro. Yeah, it's not, it's not the time. Yeah. Well, so now, so what? We got the, we said decor, cleanliness, just some. I, I'm saying notice, like on whether Women. food's out or chefs not there. So right? I, I, I thought about and that. Then the entertainment factor. I think. If uh, a real establishment, we're, we're talking about a real establishment. There's not a situation where, hey, I can't get somebody to come in and cook what my what my menu takes. I would know a couple days ahead what my menu takes. I'm always gonna have coverage. Let's say you don't have coverage or a machine breaks because that happens. Cool, you gotta let people know when they come in. Like, hey, my bad. You know, the hostess or whoever lets you in the door, or whatever. No host, you just walking in. Bartender, the bartender is like. My, you know, my I'm fault. saying a sign. A, oh, a, a yeah. sign is, you know, a, a, a spreckle, out. Yeah. Good, but like, yeah, food's out. Yeah. No, man, yeah, no problem. I was doing a um, uh, consultation with uh, somebody. I, I ain't going to put them out there. Mm. But we were um, trying to set up the ordering system. Yeah. Right? And For food? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we got everything going, right? Um, basically, just trying to get like the Uber Eats, DoorDash, and all this other stuff, right? Mm. So. Me mistakenly, I looked at their hours of operation and I said, okay, let's match the orders to their hours of operation. No. So, so, um, I'm sometimes I'll make sure my like my email is connected so I can see what's going on with uh, certain things. Mm-hmm. And then when uh, the business owner is like comfortable, they could kind of take over. So, I'm getting notices like, Missed order, missed order, missed order. I'm like, what is going on? So I go into the details and it's like, place is not open. No phone. I'm like, what's happening? So these are before they open, the people are trying to make orders. So remember I said that I matched their hours that they're operating. So let's say it's like 10 o'clock. 
right? The the places the the details of the cancel orders are saying place not open, phone number not active, blah blah blah. So call up the business owner. Yo, like these orders are getting canceled. What's going on? Oh, you know, on Tuesdays, man, I kind of like I gotta do some things, so I'm really open to like one. I'm saying, you know, your website says 10 a.m. Oh yeah, but you know, I'm like, bruh, you got like, let's fix all of this right now. So, like, that was my fault as a consultant. I should have like probably dug in and understood. Like, are these true? But is it you your can't fault? even take it. No, I'm just. I like to. I like to take accountability in my service. Mm, I understand. Like, you got to ask a lot of questions. Yeah. And um, I didn't at that time, and that's what happened. But I just, I was just so amazed. Yo, the phone was cut off, bro. The phone was cut off. So they couldn't even call to find out what's what's going on. So we we had to fix all that. And then, you know, the business eventually started picking up, like, the, the online services and their sales increased. But I was like, I'm just amazed. Like you said, people I'm are surprised. good at cooking, bad at business. Bad at business. And it needs to... Let's tell these people that like, if you want to open a business, start a business, what is the first thing you need to be good at? Running a business. Running a business. Running a business. Then you need to be good at the second thing of whatever that business is. Yeah. I think that's what people forget. They f- people forget like running a business is a thing. It's not a it's not an option. Like it's a thing. And let's be specific about what running a business entails, right? Customer service. Mm-hmm. Big. Um Accounts payable and receivable. Mm-hmm. Paying your bills, understanding how much money's coming out of your business, money management type of things. Yep. And then I would say like, um, I would say marketing. Marketing is another thing that I think people don't really Huge. understand. Huge. Like I wouldn't. Depending on the business, but. No, no. It, it's, one thing I would do is like, as a business owner, people do this all the time. And I think we even do this with like the social media page for for the, for the, um, for the podcast right don't make a podcast page don't make a restaurant page i think what people should do is you be the brand as the owner of that black business that bar you went to i want to see the 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 bar i want to see i want to see the guy who owns the place i'm gonna tell you opening it up the best some of the best experience i've had was like going to remember for your birthday we went out for that to that taco spot had a great time drinks were great Food was great. Atmosphere was great. Chef came around. Yes. Said, hey, how's the food? Good. I'm glad you asked. But that's the type of, I mean, maybe not the owner, but like, somebody. I mean, the, the owner would be tough. I mean, yeah. but I, that's a step oh, above. Somebody. But I had a, I had a conversation with the chef. Like, Yo, how you cook this steak? Bro? Yeah. And then you're going to go back. That I'm going to go back. You have a personal connection now. So now think of what, how powerful that could be on social media. Yeah. You see that person actually dealing with the chef not coming in and making a post about the chef not being there. Hey, I apologize. Yeah. Um, chef so-and-so is not going to be in, but, you know, we still got great music. We still got the pool table. That's how you do it, and you build a connection with your audience. Yeah. So, I don't I mean, know. I so think that's, we can utilize those aspects. Social media does a lot now, and I, I, I see a lot of, like, comments, like, Google reviews and stuff. Like, people, biz, good businesses are responding to bad reviews. Yep, sorry, how can we make this better, blah, blah, blah. Sorry, like, even if, like, even if they're like, it's something crazy, because I've seen some crazy stuff, like, why are you completely, they'll, they'll respond, like, mm-hmm. sorry, you know, my bad, but mm-hmm. that says something. Yeah. That says, at least you've taken the time out your day to look at that yeah. crazy review. Yeah. So, I, I mean, to this, black businesses, I love you guys. I'm I'm going to still partake. I will be there, but. You a lie. Are you right? It gotta, it gotta be the right, <laughs> gotta be the right call. You ain't going to put my team. I'm not going to put my team. You're right. It gotta be the right call. <laughs> but no, it's just like it has to. Don't sell yourself short and run the business. Don't just give a service because you like giving that service. Just because you, like, I hate that. Like, you like cooking, so you're gonna cook, and you, then you end up business not work. Then you, now you're not cooking. Now the business fails. Stop. Get somebody to run your business properly. You can still cook and be happy. Yeah, that's. But it. I, I just and and don't be afraid to slow grow. Don't like, be afraid. It, to slow it's grow. not going to be. A, yeah, it's. It's not going to be a, a home run right out the gate. No, like, nothing. No, no, no. Come and on. And like I said, what you what what I was scared of is like if you're a cook, 
don't hire a business manager right like right away. Because you don't that's an know. expense you don't even want to deal true, with. True, 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 true. But just grow your clients, and then when you feel like yo, this you is need one crazy. Like, like don't don't think you don't need one eventually. Yeah, you probably will need one once the business is what it is. But realize or maybe you just get somebody that could cook and follow the recipe that you have. Yeah, and pay them, and then you really start running the business. Then you can run the business. Exactly. True. Yeah. Most people. I mean, most people I see they they like to do the cooking. You know, they like to. That's them. But yeah. I, so when we going back to that spot. What? Which one? Uh oh, the one we don't talk about. I ain't gonna lie to you. I will go back anytime. I had a great time, and the drinks are cheap. If I if I'm thirsty, I will go over. back anytime. I ain't gonna get no food, but we gotta eat before I, we go. I there. hope he work. I'm hoping he's working that day. Probably not. Probably not. I I won't know until I show up. So it's a, it's a it's a craft shoot. Yeah. If I was closer, I would go all the time. But I'm not. I would, close. It's like thirty five. 35 30, minutes? Hey, 35 minutes. Um, I'm, I'm lying. Say, what the hell? I'm lying. It's like 30. It's like 30. Because it's, it's down. It's down. Uh, 30 minutes? I think it's like 30. Like I will Google it. I, you think it's 20? I'll Google it later. I mean, you're like 45, so. All right, man. 